What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun haul video for you guys. Disclaimer, all of these bags were gifted to me. Um, this is a PR bag haul, which means all these bags were sent to me by companies to either review, to style, um, to post about. So I have been styling them in Instagram photos, which is like what those collaborations are. But I thought I would just come on and share with you guys a few of my favorite um, bags that I've received lately and why I love them. By no means is this video sponsored. Um, I guess it's kind of, it depends on what you define as sponsored. Like yes, the bags were given to me, but no company, none of these companies are paying me to say anything that I say in this video. Um, they're not paying me to give them a good review. They pretty much just sent the bags to me to um, like style in outfit photos on Instagram. So to start off, I have this lovely little shoulder bag from Unitude. Um, Unitude is this super cool uh, new company where they sell like kind of more fashion forward um, stylish bags. They are at a pretty affordable price, which I always admire and adore when companies do that. But they offer, um, yeah, just like great quality bags at a great price so you don't have to go and spend tons of money on trendy bags if you know what I mean because like sure shoulder bags are so in right now but who knows how long they're gonna be in style for so anywho this one I think is actually quite classic this is their halo shoulder bag in black it is made of split cattle leather it has a microfiber lining and go tone metallic pieces so here and then also the little um, like details on the strap but yeah it has a flap with a press close closure so at the bottom here here you'll see a little button that if you press up it'll open the clasp when you open the bag up it is just one main compartment but it does have a small separate pocket along the side here if you can see that um, which is great for like your phone, a card holder, things that you want to make sure are like in there really steady. I think this is a great bag and just an amazing size. It is kind of a smaller shoulder bag, but it does fit a lot. Like I can fit my full wallet in here. I can fit a notebook in here. Like this is my bullet journal. It fits in there with no problems. I can do my phone, a pen. Um, yeah, quite a few things can fit in here before it gets quite full. And because it is structured uh, quite wide at the bottom, it, that kind of helps with um, carrying things as well. And you don't have to worry. If you do carry stuff that is a little bit heavier, like notebooks or whatever, you don't have to worry about your bag getting misshapen. It's going to look perfect still. The next bag that I have is one of my favorites. Um, in this haul and this is the Le Parmentier, Le Parmentier, Le Parmentier, oh god I feel like I'm butchering that but the Le Parmentier Yucca bag and I definitely think this bag was meant to be styled after the um, what is it the Chloe saddle bag I believe but it's got a amazing thick strap that has um, buckles on the side so that you can adjust the length. This is, did I mention, in the cognac color. So it has the suede side and the suede on the front, but then it has the smooth um, design on the flap and then throughout the rest of the bag with amazing gold detailing as well. Like I love the big gold clip on the side. I think it really adds to the look of the bag and then also the gold clasp in the front. Do keep in mind though the gold clasp does get scratched easily just because it is chrome so be a little careful with that. I clearly was not very careful with it but still a gorgeous bag. So this is a smooth Italian calf leather and just a beautiful velvety suede. Honestly, it's such a great day to night bag because of the size. Um, the look of it is very like daytime chic, but because of the size, you can easily um, transform it into a going out bag, which I love. 
Once you open up the flap, it is just one main compartment on the inside with no additional pockets. The inside is lined with a nice kind of canvas material so that you don't have to worry about um, anything getting scratched up in there or your bag getting scratched up in there. Oh, there is a pocket. I totally lied and I totally didn't even know, but the front uh, smooth calf leather section is actually a pocket, so it is going to be a good place to put your phone. Probably not an iPhone XS Max, but maybe something smaller, or I would say put your keys or your um, card holder in there. I think that's going to be the perfect size for a card holder. Every time that I see another La Parm bag, I am more and more impressed with their um, craftsmanship. This was handmade in Italy, which is probably why. But yeah, just a super quality bag. I love it. I love how it looks. Um, this was $275, which is a little bit more, um, but you are paying for good quality. And you, I mean, it's like a fraction of what the Chloe saddlebags or like any designer saddlebag is going to cost. So if you're wanting the look of a saddlebag, but without the crazy price tag, this is going to be a great option. I love it. I'm definitely taking this to Europe with me. I think it's so like European vibes. These bags are in a bit of a different direction, but they are with a company or a brand that you guys probably know that I've been working with for a while, and it is Herschel. Um, I started a partnership with Herschel earlier this year, and I loving all of their stuff like I pretty much only travel with my Herschel stuff now but these two are definitely more on the street side um, the other ones are more kind of like dressy bags I would say these ones are a lot more casual on the street the first one is their form crossbody bag and this is in a tan color I don't know if they come in this color anymore but um, they have a lot of other great color options all the time so you guys can check that out such a cute little bag. It's perfect for if you just are on the go traveling, especially um, because it is such a small little petite size. It's going to fit like um, a point and shoot camera. Honestly, this could even fit like a Sony Alpha camera. I think it's a good size for that. Um, you're, you can put your wallet in here, your passport if that's needed. There's like a little inner pocket to so keep your passport safe if that's what you need. Your phone. Um, and whatever kind of like little things that you need to bring with you when you're traveling. The straps are actually also removable, which is great. Um, and the reason they are is because it comes with a belt loop on the back. So if you don't want to wear it as a crossbody, just slip your belt in here and you can wear it as a little fanny pack, which I think it's going to be so cute for a fanny pack as well. It has three um, zipper compartments. The main one, there's one kind of in the middle, which I think is great for, for, for your phone or your wallet for like quick access. And then there's actually one in the front as well if you want to put like your lip gloss in there, or some hair clips or whatever little things that you can fit in here. I typically don't use the pocket in the front very much, but I use the center pocket um, and the main pocket a lot. The next bag that I have from Herschel is this. This is their, I think it's called Studio Hip Pack. Um, HS9 Studio Hip Pack. It's got a very oversized um, look to it just because, well it is, it's an oversized hip bag, but it comes in this amazing lightweight material. Um, it's got like a beautiful oversized zipper to match and then I think the strap on this is also like such a key look on this because if you see the strap kind of gets from this thick strap that you can see is connected to the bag and then it goes into this loop and then into this really beautiful kind of almost shiny thinner strap and for some reason like I just love the look of this situation here. Um, I usually wear this as almost a crossbody bag, honestly, because it is so big. So it fits really well under my arm here. Again, it's gonna be a really great bag for you to travel with. That's mainly where I use this guy. Um, so if you put it on you, and then you actually put your jacket on top, um, it's gonna be hidden. You can keep your passport and stuff in there without worrying about anybody like going into your bag. You can tighten it and wear it as a, like, 
regular fanny pack as well um crossbody like that i think if you're like a bigger dude maybe that would look more normal or you can wear it as a hip pack as well but i prefer it kind of down to the side like this i just got it in the black on black because i love how their branding looks in the black on black but they have it in this adorable pink color as well a camo and then i think a gray gray yeah gray and those are and those are stunning as well but love 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 this bag i've used it to death totally forgot to mention the form crossbody bag was $44.99 and then the studio um hip pack is pulling it up pulling it up $59.99 so very reasonable prices um and they're great quality so yeah the last bag i have to share with you is definitely the most expensive of the bunch but it is oh the quality is so nice but this is the Teddy Blake New York Cara Sapiano in the 9 inch. So there is a bigger one, but this is the smaller one. It is in dark beige. It is stunning. It definitely reminds me of the YSL, I want to say, uh, what is it called? The YSL Sac Du Jour. Am I butchering that? The YSL Sac Du Jour, um, I guess like the mini version of it. So it definitely has that exact same silhouette. But yeah, it's just beautiful. Like I am so, so in love with this bag. Um, it comes with the strap detached, so you can just wear it as a mini kind of like arm crook bag, which has been very, very popular lately. But yes, it does come with a shoulder strap that has a buckle so that you can adjust um, the length if you would like. It has obviously the top handles and then a zippered closure. On the inside of the bag, it is uh, like a suede interior, and then it has a zippered compartment as well as a separate side pocket as well that's just kind of open. I think that one fits your phone really great. It's like perfect for my phone, which is great. Like I, I don't know what it is about bags that have like a separate little phone pocket, but I love love that i don't know it's it's just such a beautifully made bag like the craftsmanship on this bag is truly superb although the price tag is a little bit higher as i mentioned um this costs 389 dollars but i will say that the quality is really really amazing it even has bottom studs um the leather is beautiful, it's like Italian Safiano leather and it's such a timeless silhouette. So I think if you are in the market for a bag in this silhouette that's a good quality but you're not wanting to spend like thousands and thousands on a YSL for example, this is a great alternative. Um, for this size, it fits like a card holder, my phone, and just like some other small things really well. But obviously if you wanna use it for work or anything like that, get the bigger one. I was specifically looking for the smaller version. Um, and yeah, this is, it's like, it's perfect. It's everything. So those are all of my favorite PR bags that I've received lately. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and hit the subscribe button if you did. If you guys want to connect with me in any other way, I have all of my social links down in the down bar for you guys. I also started an email newsletter as well, so if you guys want to sign up for that, I'm going to include that in the down bar as well. But that is everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!